Mark, the Shah stands over a thousand feet high. Many things inside the building. Offices, a casino, a hotel, viewing platforms. To be honest, I don't honestly like pointing out the viewing platform. I mean, it is twice as high as the London Eye, but uh, they do charge £30 per person to look out of the window. The novelty of looking out of that window wears off after about 30 seconds. £30 a month. So, in my opinion, the best place to go for views over London is to the left. The building with the curved roof and the white frame. You can see a few people walking around on the viewing platform. A hundred feet higher than the London Eye, on the roof is the largest rooftop garden in the world. Two restaurants, a bar, and you can spend two hours at the top if you like. It costs nothing. It's completely free. If you're interested, get more information by doing a search online for Sky Garden Lucky. Sky Garden To the right, a warship in the river. The HMS Belfast. The flag that's flying from the bow is a Union Jack, which might seem fairly obvious, but it's the only Union Jack you'll see in London. The only time it's called the Union Jack is when it flies from the bow of a naval vessel. Any other time it's simply known as a Union phone. The Belfast herself, she's stationed here since the 70s, open today as an extension to the Imperial War Museum. Line next to explore from the engine rooms all the way up to the captain's bridge. She was involved in the Second World War and last time they guns in the 1950s Korean campaign. A great doubt for the kids, the warship. A great doubt for the whole family, to be honest. I mean, look at the back there, look at the excitement on that lady's face. She's having a great doubt the warship, very interesting. It's really romantic, I'll take a little out of the warship. Uh, tower Pier to the left. We do make a stop there, but we're going to take you past the pier. Uh, as I say, we will stop at Tower Pier very soon, but we do realise most of you would probably like to get a picture of the bridge in front of us. And as I mentioned, this is uh, it's quite difficult with this boat. I mean, a lot is that of it good, is Steve? enclosed. Is the bell a lot of yeah, seats yeah, facing in different snow. directions. So to make it easier for everybody, Tower of London I'll take you closer to the bridge, and then I'll move it about. Uh, I'll try and get you a nice picture for everybody around us. Uh, from this distance, if you look to the left, you actually get a lovely view from this distance. A nice picture on the, uh, the nice blue sky, you've got the famous fortress, the Tower of the Lord. So what I would do, take your pictures to the left first, and then say I'll try and move the boat, and get everybody a nice picture of the bridge. The oldest part to the Tower of London, the four turreted section in the middle, and that's the White Tower. It was built in the reign of William the Conqueror, which was 1078. Nearly a thousand years of history inside the tower. Uh, most of it, which was quite gruesome, is where you would have been taken if you were found guilty of treason many years ago. The tower has been many things in its time. It's been a palace, an observatory, an armory, a royal mint. They used to make money inside there. It's more commonly known as a place of torture, imprisonment, and execution. Definitely recommend it, folks. Go inside there today. And, uh, uh, what do you think of the Thames? Outstanding. 
Just a Have great you got a message for Pam? Wait for a uh, I love you, I miss you, but <laughs> that head is showing me a good time on a beautiful day. So I'm going to turn the boat for you now, so coming up on the point, a lovely photo opportunity of Tower Bridge. Not London Bridge, I know most people think it's Tower Bridge. It's famous for the fact that it can open the two centre parts and lift. And it did open about 20 minutes ago for that cruise ship that you can see in the distance. Look to the right, through the arch, in the Borean. The cruise ship has just left in London. It was tied up to the HMS Belfast. Two parts that open weigh over a thousand tons each, and it only takes between 60 and 90 seconds for it to lift. If you're taking pictures, just wait for a minute. You can see a red London bus is about to enter the bridge. If you time it so that the bus is in the centre, it's going to Make sure you miss, make sure you don't miss the bus. Make sure you get the bus in the picture because we time it for that bus. Just in perfect time. I love your photo. Tower Bridge opens any time of day, any day of the year. The only day of the year that the bridge will not open is on Marathon Day. The Virgin London Marathon. They use Tower Bridge as part of the And so one day a man, he rang up, he gave 24 hours notice. He turned up, they opened the bridge for him. He came straight through the middle with his wife with a growing fox. I wasn't very impressed with that, so we now specify at least nine meters. Thank you. 
Hopefully you've got a nice, uh, nice little view. Tried to position the well as best we could there. Um, you can see the people. So they boarded the cruise ship at uh, Tower Pier. Well, they boarded the cruise ship to the Hatcher as well, but and they boarded passengers. Boarded their luggage. They're heading out and about to their next exotic destination. Uh, Uh, we can have to be pushing for the ships at the time to the next one. You can see a few people up there. Let's see if you want to Yeah. 